Hi, Langju Mathematics here. In this part 2, two hour revision on consumer mathematics, I'm going to talk about 15 marks loan questions. Smarts. Credit card using three simple steps to handle your revisions on consumer mathematics. Let's grab a few pieces of paper, calculators and your pen and let's do it. Okay, everyone. Last week, we managed to do like three things. It will be number one is about interest. Where interest, we have simple, we have compound, we have another one where it falls in loan, right? Falls in loan. And the next one is we have the second part about shares. Okay, then shares, I did say that eh, is roughly the same. Okay, lah, in our syllabus wise, lah, share, unit, trust, same, same one. But in real life, of course, it will be two different stuff. Lah. As in the definition, why it will be different. Then you have another one called dividend. We touch a bit of it. And finally, uh, finally, we have this thing called ROI. Okay, three things that we mentioned. Okay, wait, where's my pen? Okay, now. So today, right, I will do a bit on, on loans. Okay, on loans. And then after loans, uh, I will touch a very, okay, something where last, last year I didn't touch it. Called consumer mathematics. It's under your form 4 syllabus. Right? It's called smart. S-M-A-R-T, smart. Ah, so that's the part where I'm going to talk about it. So I'm going to talk about loan and then talk about smart. And then eventually I'll go into something called CC. Ah, what is CC? Credit card. Credit card, a bit of time only and you can settle the whole thing really. So today main focus is on this loan and smart thing. Okay, come. Question two. Huh? So I'm going to ask a lot of questions and some, some ideas from y'all. Y'all can just, uh, we discuss together, okay? Open to discussion. Okay, like some extra stuff. Lah. Okay, first of all, we have Michael. Michael, who has a monthly income of 8,000. I repeat, everybody, this question that I'm going to do, right? It's like link one, you know, from A part itself, go down to F, if I'm not mistaken, A, B, C, D, then up to E, F. Ah, total uh, 15 marks. Remember I said SPM, now you have an extra column. Two questions, select one. Ah, this is the one. So this whole thing is about consumer mathematics. Hmm, pro or not. Now, so I'm going to move up. I'm going to move up and I'm going to ask a lot of questions already. Uh. Now, first of all, they already specifically mentioned that monthly income 8,000. And this Michael want to buy a car which costs 45,000. 45,000. Okay. He paid 10% of the car as a down payment. Can everyone tell me in the chat, other than using the word down payment, is there any other words that you can replace the word down payment? There is a few. There, there's, I think there's two more. Mm, there's two more from students. Okay. I see whether you can answer that or not. Yes, there we go. Correct. You can say deposit, very good. Okay, you can say the word deposit. And there's another word where you, you might, you might uh, hear it before in, let's say, uh, you buy uh, a certain phone. Uh, you, you need to base, pay something called what? Advanced payment. Let's say you, you, you sign some package from Maxis, remember? I'm not sure whether you sign any phones before. Uh. Okay, some, some iPhones package or what? So they want you to pay something called advanced payment. Uh, it's the same thing. Okay, advanced payment also can. So, and took a bank loan with an interest rate of 3.2%. Okay, everyone. Now, I'm going to ask everyone, uh, tell me instantly in the chat. Uh, can you tell me this question? Up to now, uh, compound or simple? Why simple? Simple as in simple interest, you know. Compound as in compound interest. Uh. So, why simple? Because they didn't mention the word compound. Okay, and normally, normally when they talk about all these bank loans thing, housing loan things, right? They were mentioned about this thing called flat interest rate, right? But if they didn't say the word compound, then automatically you know it will be simple. Okay, simple. Simple meaning what? PRT? PRT? Right, right. Uh, then 3.2% per annum, this one interest also give you already for the remaining cost. Okay, everyone, tell me quickly, remaining cost, how many percent? Simple, right? Thank you. Thank you. I got your answer already. Okay. So your remaining cost, it shows 90%. Okay. 90%. So go down, calculate the amount of money Michael borrowed from the bank. Well, okay, ma. 10% you pay to, to buy the car. So meaning uh, you sort of like own 10% of the car already. You know? So it means uh, oh, the car is supposed to be 45,000. So I already own 4,500 of the car. <laughs> Something like this. Okay. I own 10% of it. Maybe you can say you own the steering and the gear. 
uh, something like this. Uh. So RM 45,000 times with 0 0.9 equals to RM 40500. You just take a calculator and hunt time, you get the answer already. Okay, so students try to make it a habit to write it in decimal format, 0 0.9, uh, where it shows 90%. Uh. Okay, try to make it a habit like for now. Uh. So then for part B, now part B, remember, I say this word. I, I, I read the question first. Calculate the total amount of the loan which Michael needs to pay if his loan repayment is number one, three years, five years, then seven years. Okay, wait. Everyone, total amount of loan basically means uh, the amount you pin jump from the bank plus with what? Plus with what? Start with iron. Yeah, law. Plus with the interest law. Basically, there is one specific formula we mentioned before. Come tell me in the chats. So see whether you can record it. We, we, we are doing revision, right? That's why I, I want you to record it. Uh, oh, and another one. Uh, anyone replaced from Gaby's class or maybe Tsinghua's class? I got not. Uh, I got also have to tell me. Uh. Hey, Jing Xian, be careful. Uh. Correct info, but the symbol go wrong. Du -du -du. Yeah, loan. Loan. Symbol as in your plus minus times divide all those things. Uh, something go wrong really. Something go wrong. Ah, uh, be careful. Uh. Yes, correct. The answer is everybody. P plus PRT. P is the principal. Uh, or in other words, uh, the, 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 the amount that you want to pin jump from the bank. Uh, pin jump from the bank. You want to borrow from the bank. Uh, okay, everybody. Okay, everybody. Now. Now. 450. Uh, 40500 plus with 40500 times with what? Times with standard law rates of 3.2%. Remember, is it above there? 3.2%. Thank you very much. 0 0.032 times with three years. Okay, come quick one. I will be calculating using my calculator as well. I want everybody to quickly find number one, number two, number three answer. Once you are done, you put okay, can really. You don't have to purposely type for me. Uh, don't have to waste your time, go and type it. Uh, just done really, you put okay. So you notice that when I write the answer, right? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't focus on the units, can you see that? Only, only when I get the final answer, then, then I will write the, 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 what's it called, the RM there, right? Uh, so make sure you save your time uh, by, by, by skipping some of the unwanted workings. Lah. Okay, so I got all my inputs ready. Okay, nice, thank you very much. Okay, see you pro, yo. Okay, now, the next part will be, everybody tell me the, the loan repayment period uh, as for three years, five years, and seven years. They mentioned the word monthly installment, right? So this one, I don't think is a big problem to y'all. I will do it as well. You do it, once you are done, just put okay, uh, W. Uh, you are done, you put W on that. So this one, they want three years. Uh, I just have to take the total loan amount that I have to repay for three years version. Uh, and then I divide by the monthly because three years uh, it will be 12 times three already crying right uh, okay 12 times three so that i can get 36 months even 12 times 5 60 12 times 7 84 you see i get all the months because i want monthly installment right so i'll be getting rm1233 i'm going to repeat this word again uh, everyone this whole 15 marks question it links Ah, links. Link meaning what? Meaning uh, all the information you can refer it back to the previous info. Uh, like part C relevant to part B. Uh, so you need your part B information to continue. So if let's say one part gone already, then the second part you show wrong already. And so the 15 marks very fragile. You have to make sure you get correct for each of the stage. Okay. So the other one is four, six, eight. Uh, 980 divided by 60. If I do wrong calculation, you tell me uh, because sometimes I press too fast already. Okay. So I, I made error as well. Okay. Just let me know. Divide by 84. So 49572 divided by 84. 49572 divided by 84 equals to RM 590.14. So you check whether you get the same answer. Now I give you like roughly one minute again. You are done. You put W. Uh, try not to copy. 
Uh, okay, you, you make sure you know, uh, then only you start maybe copy or what. Okay. Nice one. Pro or your. Okay, in case student student ask me, because they are just now that previous class, uh, they, they asked me this. Teacher, uh, this one, uh, which chapter? Uh, why I didn't see before one? I'm like, hmm? Huh? Looks like you start studying when you're in form four. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, students, this is form three. <laughs> okay, so make sure uh, you, 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 still, you still need to uh, test out your form three. Uh, I mean, in your SPM, they test out your form three stuff as well. Uh, okay, not everything. Uh, like locals, they won't ask. Uh, but consumer mathematics, I used to ask students to ask, ask, ask teacher whether they will come out or not. Eventually, they, 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 they told me that some of the students say, uh, teacher won't ask. Uh, but eventually, when I look at the model paper from publishers, right, there is. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the point. Okay, everyone. Uh, same thing. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, tell students where, in case you are having your, 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 your recent exam or what, go through the exam paper that I, the, the, the SPM state paper that I posted in YouTube. Okay, just rewatch. Okay, you can download the paper and try it out. But I already said, there is two things. It's not inside. What's the two things again? Consumer mathematics, uh, and your what? And your, uh, what's it what's called again? The, the standard deviation thing, what is that, that chapter name? Ah, I forget the name already. Measures of dispersion. Mm, no, so it's inside. It's not inside. Uh, so the rest, the rest, everything is like, as uh, roughly the same as your KBSM one. Okay, so you read the description. Okay, now, wait, very hot. Got sweat some more. Huh? Okay, now the next part, oh, finally, put there, Form 4C10. This is the part last year I didn't teach you all. And I skipped into another trigonometry part, right? Okay, this one. Everyone, I want to see whether, whether you still recall what your teacher told you. I didn't, I didn't tell you this before. I didn't teach you this before. Okay, I see whether you still remember or not. Huh? Okay, you try to comment in the chat, what is S M? A R T. Like this, the I mean S M R T is the acronyms, uh, okay, to, to, to like certain certain words. Uh, is the initial, okay, initial dot for everything. Okay, so now what is S M A R T? Okay, so uh, I will I will just uh, treat it as a teaching as well. Uh, I will teach you like what's the what's the uh the the the, the quick version of S M A R T as well. Okay, kawan kawan sekalian. The first one being specific. Let's read the question and try to fit instantly, okay? Now, so I'm going to introduce SMART again. SMART is a concept for you to think about it when you set a certain goal. Uh, when you set a certain goal. So let's say you want to buy iPads. You cannot say just want to buy iPads because the goal is not, not, not like, uh, 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 how say, design based on SMART. Because when you, when you put every, every parts of the SMART concept inside, right? Most importantly, the T part over there. It means time bound. Okay, everyone. I'm not sure whether you agree with this or not. Uh, I'm going to ask you all. Uh, agree or not, when your teacher uh, set a deadline. Okay, when teacher set a deadline, uh, you are, you, the, your, your teacher is actually creating an urgency so that you will be able to uh, do it in a certain period you settle already, you have the sense of satisfaction. I'm done with the work. I'm not sure whether you have this kind of feel. Uh. But setting deadlines uh, where it's kind of reasonable one, uh, is actually comfortable one. Uh -huh, okay, if let's say I set a time, time, time bound, okay, a, a time, time limit. I say that, huh, you're gonna finish the whole revision in one day. Uh, this one, the time bound, not, not possible. Uh. So time, like, like SMART, that T part, okay, you notice that each of the part, right, is actually act as, act as uh, a part where he, you 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 will be able to achieve your goal in a in a in a in a in a more more likely to happen manner. Okay, so let's go into the question and see what they say. They say justify Michael's financial goal for purchasing his car in five years using the smart concept. Okay, everybody, S stands for specific. Remember, uh, you don't base on this word only, you know, because Michael, Michael's information is stated above. Everyone, look at this. Michael's information is stated above. You get what I mean? 
So you have to look at this part as well, as well as all the calculations where you already calculate for Michael, or maybe Michael, Michael calculate already. Uh. You are the Michael. Uh. Uh -huh. So when you come into this case, right? Now, my question to everybody uh, is Michael's goal specific? Uh, that's my question. Is Michael's goal specific? Okay, you tell me. If let's say you say it's specific, why? Uh, is Michael's goal specific? Uh, yes, stand for why. Uh, no, stand for no. Uh. You tell me, uh, yeah, oh, yes, no. Uh, is Michael's goal specific? Okay, specific as in well-defined, is very clear. Okay, is like very specific on the particular thing that uh, uh, Michael want to achieve. is actually quite obvious, right? You say that you want to purchase a car. Besides saying purchasing a car, okay, there is time some more, there is all the prices, everything some more. So specific as in the car, it will be purchased by using what? Purchased by using what, everyone? Stop with Ellen. By using loan, right? And moreover, the loan is five years, uh, five years time. Right on. Okay, so I'm going to write. Huh? Okay, everyone, let's write the sentence together. And this sentence, I design it based on what? Based on textbook uh, sentence. Okay, design based on textbook sentence. Huh? Okay, let's write. Number one, Michael... Michael's goal is specific. Okay, it's specific. Okay, write this. Michael's goal is specific. We haven't uh, finished yet. Uh, we have to go to the next sentence. Uh. Okay. As, as he wants to purchase a car. Okay, purchase a car with a specific loan. Okay, loan amount. Uh, loan amount. Okay, everyone, can you tell me what's the loan amount? Uh, can you tell me what's the loan amount? You know uh, the loan amount because they already mentioned it's five years, right? So I go up, okay, I look at the five years, five years loan amount, four, six, nine, eight, zero. So we are looking at this. Okay, so the RM48, RM46980, is it? Is it? Is this the under? Ah, yeah, correct. So I write it over there so that I can remind myself. Uh, okay, uh, Aina, that's the borrowed money, right? But you notice that the above question, they say you're going to buy in five years, right? Uh, but everyone, you have to be careful. Uh, the example in textbook and the example over here is different. Uh, okay, la, it, it's about the same smart concept, but this question is about you're going to purchase the car in five years time. The reason being what? Because when you, when you purchase the car, right, you're going to sign the contract. Once you sign the contract, you're going to start paying monthly installment. Pay, pay, pay. Then you own a certain percentage of the car. And once you reach five years, the car is yours because you fully paid it up. Uh, so in five years, so you're going to start purchasing the car. Uh, basically, it's like in these in this one, two days. Uh, that's the point. Okay, now M. Everyone, what is M? Come quick. What is M? M O. M is... Actually, or you look at the M there also, you know, what is this? Hey, what is this? Money, uh? Okay, money means you have to measure already, uh? So, the, the specific word is supposed to be measurable. Okay, I just put there money, okay? So, put measurable. So, measurable, talk about money, uh? Okay, talk about money, okay? Everybody, now, talk about money, and I'm going to explain a bit what is measurable. Uh, it's a, it, uh, there's a specific criteria, okay? Based on what, what I... I write some small notes over here already uh, based on textbook and some internet uh, information on smart, uh, smart concept. Uh. So measurable is based on a specific criteria that measured your progress towards accomplishment of your goal. Okay, now, everybody. So I'm going to write the answer. You see whether it fits the measurable or not. Uh. So the answer is Michael. Michael's goal can be Measured because, okay, can be measured because he knows how much he needs to pay monthly. Okay, right? Yeah, you can count on, right? So it's like you can measure the goal, 
Okay, so you have to pay how much monthly in order to achieve that final goal there. So I just put a bracket there. Everyone, can you tell me how much is the answer? Uh, how much is the answer? Seven, eight, three, cry not. And eventually total up, you will get the four, six, nine, eight, zero. Uh, four, six, nine, eight, zero. Okay, now. So everyone, what is A? A actually, your textbook says attainable. Uh. Okay, attainable. Yes, textbook says attainable. But based on what I learned before, because I, I study ACCA, I remember I studied this in my management paper. Yeah, I remember the word it's achievable. Uh, like what? That's why I say Jinwei Sali type achievable. I'm like, oh, hey, show internet one. Uh, because in accounting, I remember it's achievable. Uh. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so attainable, achievable, actually roughly the same one. Attainable means whether. Okay, whether I'm gonna I'm gonna read from my small notes here. So A being what? Whether possible, possible to achieve or not. Possible to achieve or not. Possible ma, correct not? Possible ma? Because you are paying seven eight three, uh, out of your eight thousand salary. So possible lah. And everyone, you have to be careful lah. Because over here, they didn't mention any specific expenses. If let's say this question, they're going to make it harder, right? They will add in some expenses. Then they ask you to like compare a bit and see whether achievable or not. So you have to be careful. But in this case, they didn't mention any expenses. So eh, so far, so far it's not attainable, achievable one based on the 8,000 salary. Uh, I repeat, oh, based on the 8,000 salary. Uh, if let's say, nah, you have to be careful. If let's say, uh, uh, Michael, uh, there, is, there is a fixed expense and some variable expense going on. And that total up to like, let's say 7,500, for example. So do you think this is attainable anymore? Not attainable anymore. Uh, but this case, they didn't mention any expenses, ma? so I would say yes. Okay? Sliver. <laughs> so I would say Michael's goal is attainable Attainable, I repeat, based on this situation, uh, because there is no expenses mentioned. Uh, mentioned, okay? So Michael's goal is attainable because he is able to pay RM783 per month from his salary of Lapan Ribu. Okay, not everyone remember this template, right? It applies to every other questions. Uh, so when you do smart concept, design your smart concept, okay, use this template. Template as in how I write. Uh, because I design based on textbook. And textbook is how they write. <laughs> okay. So take this template and just change the name. Let's say Michael. And the other question is about, let's say Damon. Damon want to buy an iPad. Uh, in three months that were 5,000. Uh, so let's say the question is like this. And of course, there is some other information as well. Uh, so you have to design based on SMART, then you have to fit inside. Just change the Michael to, to Damon. And then uh, you, you see whether there is any uh, the figures that I provide you over there. Then you fit inside. Uh, so it depends on question, okay? R. Everybody, what is R? What is R? R means... Uh, I'm going to say this word. I'm going to say this word. R means, uh, nah, you see, you are sitting on your desk, right, everyone? So I'm going to take, uh, let, uh, I'm, I'm going to act as your parents uh, and you are, you, are, you are dreaming there. Hey, can I achieve this goal or not? So I'm going to slam your head. Pong. Hey, come back to reality. La. Possible to achieve or not? This one practical. Uh. People got achieved uh, before or not? Uh, that's the meaning of realistic. Okay. So everyone, is Michael's goal realistic? Okay, realistic or not? Relevant to life purpose. Uh, this one is like uh, a bit in-depth really. Lah, huh? So basically, realistic, relevant, a bit uh, quite similar to this attainable part already. Anna. So I'm going to roughly write something where it's kind of same as. Uh, okay, same as, same as the answer given in attainable. If my parents let me, I won't be in realistic. Uh, hey, <laughs> wow, that one very hard eh. Maybe Peng San already. Okay, so I'm going to write a realistic answer. Realistic will be Michael's. In this case, of course, realistic. Because 
because the expenses, the, the, the per month expenses is within the, the, the given salary range, right? Also a, a realistic one, very okay, realistic. Okay. So Michael's goal is realistic. Realistic because he needs to pay RM783 per month. That's all. Okay, per month. Basically, roughly the same as attainable one because it's about, uh, they are asking you whether hey, this one practical or not. Uh, this one, uh, 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 like Michael can, can, can achieve or not uh, based on in, in real life. Uh, possible to pay it or not, uh, this one. Okay, so the last one, time bound. This one, I, for me, la, I think time bound is a very important part in, in any of your, in any of your, I don't say goal, la. okay, la, goal, la. targets. La. Is this target, is this uh, goal, is there is a clear, clear time period for you to achieve it. Imagine if you tell yourself, hey, I'm going to buy a Felali. I'm going to buy a Felali. Can you see there's no time bound? Time bound, right? So how you know when you're going to achieve Cryonite? So not specific enough. If let's say you tell yourself, huh, I'm going to tell myself in, in 10 years time, uh, in 10 years time, or maybe in 15 years time, I mean, as in you are not me, I don't want, I don't want for Lali. I don't want for Lali. Okay. I want people to fetch me uh, different. Okay, now, so come back. So uh, if let's say you, you say that, oh, I'm going to buy a Lali. Uh, so you say that, oh, uh, I'm going to achieve my goal in 10 years. So you're going to, in these 10 years, you're going to work, 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 work like really hard to get it. Uh, so there's a time bound. So you, are, you, are, you, you, you create an urgency that in this 10 years time, I'm going to achieve my Felali, uh, something like this. Okay, so to create the urgency. Lah. So I'm going to write, uh, hey, by the way, uh, Michael's goal got, got time bound. Right? Uh, there is uh, five years, uh, right? five years. Uh. So Michael's. Michael's goal is time bound because it has a time limit, time limit of five years, or maybe you can put 60 months, uh, same thing. Right? Okay, so I'm going to say again, uh, save this template, everyone, save this template, whatever smart related concept, right? Write it like this and just change the name, change the figure. Uh, change the object. This one is a car. Maybe the other one is like about iPads. Okay, about laptops or what. Just change it. Okay, so keep this. Okay, and by the way, this will be a YouTube video as well. Uh, so you can rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. Treat it as a revision for your next year SPM. Uh, okay, so everybody, everybody, the next one comes in with, oh, I haven't answered yet. Therefore, uh, therefore, <laughs> therefore, Michael's go. I forget about this word. Okay, therefore, Michael. Michael's goal is, uh, is using smart concept. Because as you can see, everything fits, uh, fits into our smart concept there. Okay, now E. Okay, E, E, E. State whether Michael's purchase of a car is a short term or a long term financial goal. Come. Just tell me S or L. Okay, long term or short term? Which one mark only? Yes, everyone, long term. Okay, long term financial goal. Okay, long term financial goal. Huh? Of course, you write nice, nicely. Huh? My word will be ugly. Okay, um, student might ask me this, uh, this thing. Uh, teacher, short term and long term, how to differentiate? Okay, I say it this way. Lah. Okay, I say it this way. Okay, why not I ask your your try to answer me? Uh, okay, see whether your logic is there or not. Everyone purchasing a smartphone, short term or long term? As in the goal uh, is a short term goal or long term goal? Looks like most of, uh, not most of the students, so far 100% of the students, right? Send me short term. Okay, why you think that's a short term? Eh? Why you think that's a short term? Eh? Okay, I would say, la, I would say, la, everyone, I would say we are not like, maybe you're, uh, some of you, yes. La. Okay, so maybe you're, you're like not super, super crazy, crazy billionaire rich. Huh? 
uh, for example, <laughs> okay. So I just say like, uh, like reasonable reach, reasonably rich. Okay. So normally, purchasing a small, uh, uh, a small item, uh, like like laptops, smartphones. Okay. Not not small item. Sorry. Uh, uh, you you purchase laptop, smartphone. Normally, normally, uh, we purchase using what everyone. Uh, cash. Okay, credit card you swipe. Okay, you swipe really, or maybe you cash buy the whole thing, or maybe sometimes you 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 sign up like package to 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 buy it. Okay, so I would say it's it's kind of like short term because it's possible for you to cash buy it. Now, so as for as for car, this kind of item because the amount is like super big. Okay, super big. So this kind of super big um, uh, 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 as in as in money wise item, right? Uh, I would say it will be long term. Yes, like what uh, who's that called? Jin Xiang mentioned that. In in accounting point of view, right? I would say roughly la, roughly uh, a loan where it's within one two one one two years on uh, it, it, it be kind of short term. Okay, let's say like five years. Okay, five years plus a bit on uh, those are long term based on. Uh, okay, purchasing a property. Let's say you are you are you are you are you are you are borrowing a loan, okay, a housing loan to, to, to buy a house. Okay, so that will be long term or, or short term. So obviously that will be a 30 years, 20 years, huh? That will be like long term, long term financial goal. Okay. Um, yes, you weigh something at least. Uh something at least. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to touch that word. Lah. Okay, if I touch that word, then some of the science students don't really know that what's that. Uh, okay. So roughly only lah, okay. This one is like one mark only. Uh. Normally they will give you something like a uh, car handphones, uh, what else, laptops, okay? Uh, this kind of like simple, simple stuff. A bag, a uh, bag short term. Okay, F, F, okay, this one, F, F, F. Uh, hard to say, uh, Jinwei, it's hard to say, uh, based on item. You just simply get me some item, I see whether your answer and my answer is same or not. Uh, mm. Just now there's a student asked me this thing. Uh, asked me this thing, picture of marriage. Le. Is that hard to say or not? <laughs> really? uh, that, that's the point, Jimmy. That's, that's why I would say that it depends on a certain a certain uh, family financial status, right? Uh, so I would say that in, in a general, right, if you purchase a phone, uh, phone is possible to buy it cash in... In as a, as a majority la, as a majority um as in among your friends or what possible to buy it using cash on possible la. so I would say that will be short term okay let's say you say a car although like super rich one you get they can buy using cash but normally uh, in realistic world right they will use a loan to buy it and so I would say that will be long term something like this uh, okay so everyone F F if Michael's salary increased by 5%, quick one, RM8000 times with 1.05, RM8400. The 5% is 400. The increased salary total is 8400. Okay, everybody, comment on his financial plan with a car installment over three years period. Okay, now everybody, now, everybody, I'm going to say this word. Huh? You try to describe, I'll give you some time. I'm not, not say this word. I'm going to guide you a bit on, on your answer. Okay. I will, I will try to try to make your, 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 your comments uh, describe towards this specific information. Okay. These keywords here. Okay, everyone. Three years uh, monthly installment worth how much? One, two, three, three, right? As you can see, uh, it's Michael again. And the information you calculate for, for, for Michael already, calculated for Michael already. Okay, now, everybody, do you think, just tell me yes or no, uh, do you think Michael can pay out one, two, three, three? Do you think yes? Of course, Tudor will say this thing, uh, teacher, uh, for me, I don't think can, no, because uh, uh, i rather use the money to invest I don't want to pay so much. So I think uh, I should recommend Michael to uh, invest in other things. Uh, uh, of course, you don't go too far. It's not too much for me. Uh, so 
I will give you a fixed way to handle it, just like your Spark concept. You have to remember this thing, everyone. In mathematic point of view, when you are writing a certain description, uh, for maths, we focus on calculation. All those writing, writing, description part, right? We try to fix it. Uh, so I'm trying to guide you to the fixed way of writing it. So whenever they ask you to comment on a certain, a certain financial plan, right? I will always say this thing on. Okay, number one, wait, uh, wait. Uh, one, two, three, three, possible to pay it up, not? Yes or no? Mm. Of course, you will say yes. 8,400, you can pay one, two, three, three or not. Of course, in this case, yes, right? Uh, I, I, I mean, as in syllabus wise, uh, possibly yes, yes, really. Uh, no, one, two, three, three, three can. Uh, 8,400, ma. mathematics, you can see that. Okay, but in, in our description point of view, as in SBN syllabus one, right? Always touch this very important keyword when you comment about financial plan. Always touch the expenses. Okay, always touch the expenses. Meaning, uh, once Michael paid up, one, two, three, three, I'm going to write that. 8400 minus RM1233. So you notice that there is a there is a leftover of how much everyone? 8400 minus 1233. The leftover is 7167. Everyone. Now, student will say, hey, teacher still got a lot, ma, cry not. But you already say, in order to get the marks right, you have to touch the word expenses. Okay, as in the fixed expenses and those, those kind of things, you know. So everyone, I tell you the sentence, okay, in a proper way, you write it down. Okay. When you look at the suggested answer from the publisher that I that I post, uh, I mean, as in posted for you for you in the in the given booklet, right? You see they they write like those like bombastic kind of words la, then they put ratio some more la, no need. Okay, I will tell you what to write. Remember to touch expenses. Uh. look at this word. Okay, the important thing is, in order to pay it up, right? You have to make sure you 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 are able to pay it up your expenses. Uh, that's the point. So I'll read the answer to you. Uh. The answer will be, uh, start writing everyone. If Michael, if Michael decides to settle the car installment in three years, come write this. Okay. If Michael decides to settle the car installment, in three years, he needs to pay RM1233 per month. Cry not. This is not normal lah, because I say you have to you have to number one say what's the amount first. And it's possible to pay it up because you have 8,400. Is that really the one mark is here by the way? Okay, now so you're gonna to touch expenses this word, right? So the expenses will be what the expenses will be, you have to write this thing. His monthly financial plan is not affected if his expenses are, ah, this is the important word that I say, if his expenses is within RM7167, bring it. You all get what I mean, not? You have to make sure Michael's expenses is within this amount before you say that he can pay up the one, two, three, three. Uh, this is the most important point. The expenses is not being affected. Uh, then you can pay it up. If affected, then too bad. That's why I say just now, if let's say the question talks about expense, right? Then the question becomes harder really. Okay, everyone, you write this down. Okay, once you are done with the writing, you put okay. So I'm going to move to the next, really. Mm. Okay, uh, nice. Uh. Okay, uh. everyone, the remaining time, right? Let's touch credit cards. Okay? And the credit card part, right? Everyone, of course, for your, for your case, you have to send to me in the WhatsApp. Lah. Okay? For students where you're in YouTube, right? You comment in the chats. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to go up. Uh, Everyone, question seven. Okay, question seven. Let's go. Question seven. Mm. 
Lily. Okay, the remaining time we're going to talk about question seven. So I will straight teach up to uh, eight o'clock. Okay, eight o'clock. Huh? Okay, come everyone. Quickly tell me. Okay, quickly tell me. Credit card, hard or easy? <laughs> hard or easy? Nah. H or E? Uh, okay. So I'm not sure whether after I mentioned in this limited 10 minutes or what, it will help you up or not. Okay. If let's say it helped you up, you let me know in the chats. Okay. Whether this trick okay or not. Because I, I believe, I strongly believe this, you know, during form three, right? You are not so aware about all these things. You are not mature enough to understand. Maybe some of you uh, really understand uh, the information during form three. But now you're form five already. Um, I strongly believe and I really know you can, you can do that one. As in when I mention to you, you can understand them easily. Okay, so let's do it together. Huh? Credit card is a fixed format to calculate in our syllabus wise. Huh? Okay, first of all, I want everybody to write this thing. CC, stand for credit card, of course. There is this three very important thing called O slash B, F slash C, L slash P, everybody. Now, OB stand for outstanding balance. It means uh, you buy a certain thing, okay, you buy a certain, when you swipe the card or you type your pin everything into your online, online, online purchase info, Lazada, Shopee, whatever things, okay? You type inside already, your, your credit card information is there, right? So once you buy a certain thing, the expense will be charged into your credit card. So that's the outstanding balance where you haven't paid anything yet. When the statement comes, you have to pay. Lah. So that's the outstanding inside. Okay, everyone. OB stands for outstanding balance. Okay. FC stands for finance charge or maybe the so-called interest that you have to pay. Uh, interest that you have to pay. You have to pay lah, if you didn't pay up your credit card. Lah. Okay, now what is LP? LP means late payment. I repeat, uh, LP means late payment. It acts like a penalty. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure whether you still recall these two very important rules that I mentioned in your form three before or not. If you forget already, it's fine because I don't want you to memorize it. I, I, I noticed that when I check through the model papers that I see among model papers from publishers, right? They tend to tune a bit on the information given, okay? As compared to form three info. I remember this very important thing called minimum payment. Can anyone tell me in the chat, minimum payment, it's how many percent? Hmm. I see whether you still recall. Not. How many percent? Yes, 5% <laughs> of your outstanding balance. Look at the word, 5% huh? of your outstanding balance, or by the way, I mentioned five, five rules last time. Five, five rules, 5% huh? or maybe RM 15 ringgit. Uh, so whichever higher, of course, whichever higher, lah. bank want to take the lower amount for what? They want to take more money from you. Huh? Okay, because you owe money. Eh. Of course, take more money from you. Lah. So five, five rules, are huh? RM 50 or 5%, okay, or maybe 5%. Okay, the next one, okay, the next one comes in already. Now, everybody, can you tell me if let's say in your syllabus, uh, you swipe the credit card ready, and then when you receive a statement, uh, you pay everything. You pay everything. Uh, you pay everything. Uh, is there any more thing that you can calculate? Nothing. Uh. You swipe the card already, then you pay everything. What else I can test you? You get what I mean, right? So in a certain question, right, they won't ask you this kind of situation. So in your syllabus wise, right, there was only two possible situations. Number one, it's either they say this particular person, right, after swipe the card, when he received a statement, uh, pay minimum balance. That's the first scenario. Or they will say, didn't make any payment, did not make any payment at all. Two given situation only. If the person paid everything, nothing to ask anymore. So there's only two possible situations. 
So can anyone over here tell me, if let's say a certain person once received the statement already, didn't pay up anything, what will happen? Ah, uh, this is important. This is super important. Eh, no die lah, okay? Somebody told me just now, uh, hey, teacher, show bankrupt already, and no, not so soon. Bank won't chase you. I test before, and okay, I remember last time I didn't pay it up for, for two days only, you know, two days only, uh. then the bank spam call me. Like, hey, mister, uh, you pay your credit card already, you not? Uh. I say, oh, I asked my wife first, sorry, uh. then I close. Actually, I haven't paid it. Then after like 10, 10, 10, 10 plus minutes, say, hey, you ask your wife already, uh, pay already, you know? I'm like, ah, later, I'm still in the class, sorry. Uh. So, come. After one hour, call me again. This call spam call. Hey, like serious, huh? serious. Huh? Uh, then after that, I took hey, sorry, uh, I, I called my wife. Hey, uh, you can help me pay the credit card first. Ah, uh? uh, sorry. Uh? Okay. <laughs> because all my money I put in my wife uh, account. Uh, so you got to settle all the, all the finance stuff for me. Okay. No, uh, they won't take my property. Uh, this one credit card only. Come on. Yeah. The, 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 the thing is, if you didn't pay anything, right? In the statement, you will have another extra penalty. And that penalty is called late payment. Ah, if you paid out minimum payment, then don't have this kind of case already. And the important thing is to tell you, remember to pay a minimum payment. Uh, you didn't pay, gone. I penalty you, late payment. Ah, remember not. Okay, now, so let's go. Uh. Everyone, I will read up the situation. We settle this and I chow. And then bye-bye. Okay, see you in the next video. Wait. So Lily bought a handbag through online purchase from a foreign website. Normal. Huh? She made transaction of USD 305 via credit card. The foreign, uh, foreign currency exchange rate was USD 1 equals to RM 3 ringgit 82 on that day. Oh, I just broke. Oh, you know what? Now, everybody, can you tell me what's the what's the price of the uh, of the of the handbag? It will be RM three ringgit eighty two for one USD, right? And the handbag three zero five USD. Oh. So it means you have to times three hundred and five times uh, USD three hundred and five times. So the handbag worth how much? Sorry, I use a calculator. Um. Wow. This handbag, I won't buy lah. <laughs> I very cheap now, I won't buy it. So expensive already, I'll buy. Okay. 1,165.10. What the heck is that? It's just a bag. Okay. Nike bag is very, very expensive already. 1,000 plus, what is that? Okay, now. So they say calculate the total amount of the credit card statement for that particular month. This one, uh, because you swipe using the, the what? Okay. Swipe using credit card. Ma. Okay, now, everyone. Now see, uh, given that the finance charge, oh, yo, oh, yo, can you see FC finance charge 18%? Now, scratch your head a bit. Uh, be careful. Uh, annually means per, an, uh, per annum. Uh, annually means one year. You know? Hey, if you didn't pay up for one month, uh, they charge you annually fair or not? Not fair. Ma? Not fair. Ma? Correct not? So you have to prorate. You have to prorate. So they will, they will tell you a certain condition uh, or you have to prorate to how many days uh, they, they will tell you that. So in this case, they say annually on the transaction for 40 days. Uh, so that's the prorated amount. Uh. Okay, and late payment charge is at minimum of 10 ringgit or 1%. This is the second rule that I mentioned in form three. Minimum, uh, look at the word I mentioned, uh, minimum payment, five, five rules, 5% five or RM50, whichever higher. Late payment, wait, late payment, RM1 pula. Uh, RM10 or maybe 1% of your outstanding plus finance charge. Okay, whichever higher. I will do it now. Okay, now everyone move down. Number two, if Lily did not make any payment, huh? Come, tell me. If Lily did not make any payment on the statement as in number one, calculate the current amount in the next statement. Gone. Tell me what will happen. Lily did not make any payment. This one I just mentioned only. What will happen if Lily didn't make any payment? So I'll write number one, number two, and number three, outstanding balance, finance charge, and LP. 
you didn't do any payment, number three will pop out. You put a tick there. Late payment applies. Ah, ini lah dia. You didn't pay then. You, I, I pronounce to you, correct ma? You didn't pay ma? Hey, it's my money. I'm the bank. Uh, it's my money. You didn't pay me. So I charge you finance charge. Uh? I don't know. I charge you late payment. Uh, I pronounce to you. Ah, okay. So everyone, outstanding balance RM1165.10 and Lily didn't make any payment. So I cannot minus anything. If let's say uh, you have this minimum payment, then you minus here. But didn't pay, ma? didn't pay, then don't write. Ah, okay. Finance charge. Look at how I prorate. RM1165.10. Everybody, wait. How many percent? Hey, this amount you didn't pay, of course, bank charge you fair, ma? But it won't charge you 18% annually because it's only for that month. Right, right. So the bank say, uh, you didn't pay, I charge you 40 days. So I will say, 18% divide by, by, like, divide by 18%, it's just like your compound, you know. Remember compound, I say every six months, you say compounded uh, two times in a year, right? So this one daily, oh. daily, oh. You divide by 365 uh, so that it becomes one day rate. Uh, one day rate. Uh. Then the condition, the, the, the bank says the condition is to, to charge you 40 days, uh, right? Uh, so I times it 40. Then I will be able to get my finance charge. This is my interest that I'm going to pay. I didn't pay, uh, so bank charged me interest. Uh, so this is the extra money that I have to pay bank. Okay? I don't want to calculate that. You calculate later. Okay, now, late payment. RM10 ringgit, they say one. RM10 ringgit, or everyone, I will tell you this. This is a template. Use this template uh, to do in whatever credit card question uh, that I put it over here. Be careful. Uh, sometimes they put monthly. Uh, this one, 18% annually. Uh, sometimes they put monthly uh, to be careful. So I will put my 1165.10, the outstanding balance, plus my finance charge. Times with 1%, I will get the new late payment amount. And remember, whichever higher. Finally, to get the current amount on the next statement, number one, plus number two, plus number three, you will be able to get your final answer. I want you to send to me in my WhatsApp. Okay, you calculate. Boom, 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 boom. You send to me. Okay, I will tell you whether your answer correct or wrong. Okay, all right? So I will stop here today and the rest of the consumer mathematics question, you can do it yourself already and the answer is given behind. Okay, so next week, I will do network graph theory revision. And before I do the network graph theory, right, I want you all to uh, ask me whatever question where you try it up, make sure you try it up. Huh? Whatever question that you try it up, you don't know one, I will explain first before I start network. Okay? Bye. Boom. Okay, everybody. This part of the question, right, as you can see, okay, as you can see, uh, last week, we already complete, like, the steps, everything, I asked you to send me the, send me the answer, right? Okay, la, consider most of the students get the correct answer. It's just that a few little mistakes. Okay, what is the few little mistakes? Now, this is the part where I didn't write it out, okay? This part, I didn't write it out. So, a lot of students, they, they just find the answer for late payment only, okay, which is wrong already. La. Okay, so suppose, uh, when you want to get the total statement, Okay, the total statement, which is the next one, okay, the, the, the next month, month one. Okay, first off, first of all, you need your outstanding balance and then your finance charge. And then, of, of course, you will have your late payment that you have to add up. Okay, but in a while, I will do a quick recap on what's the late payment thing again. So when you do your calculation and stuff, right? Okay, let me, let me do the quick calculation and you check whether you get the same answer or not. Huh? So when you do this, this one done already, and so 1165.1 times 0 0.18 over 365, and then times 40, you'll be getting this part as, uh, 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 I missed out already, 1165.1 times 0 0.18 divide 365 times 40 days. So this part being 22.98, okay, 22.98. So when you take this 22.98, you put it over here to get your late payment, right? Because late payment, it says either 10 ringgit or maybe 1% of your outstanding, but the outstanding a bit deceiving. Uh, you have to be careful with the info. You have to add the finance charge. Huh? So 1165.1 plus 22.98, and then times 0 0.01, 1%, you get 11.88. So obviously this is 
higher value compared to 10. So you have to take this figure, this figure, and this figure, you have to add three things up. Uh, so let's add the three things up. Huh? Okay. So when I add the three things up, this is what happened. 11.88 one, one eight eight plus 22.98 plus 1165.10. Boom. Your answer is RM1199.96. Uh, this is the final answer. Okay, all right? So you go and check out your answer. So uh, once you're okay already, just put okay. Then I will continue with the next uh, few more credit card questions so that you have, have like uh, a better overview of it. Credit cards, right? Credit cards. Yeah, so once you're done, you put okay, ah. Uh? Uh, cannot, Jinghui, because it will say uh, whichever higher. Uh, they will say whichever higher. Uh, I mean, as in, they didn't mention that, but uh, form three syllabus, right? They did, they did say that whichever higher. Uh, whichever higher, that's the, that's the one. Uh. Okay, and uh, that's the one. Okay, come. So everyone, this is from last week, right? So now I'm going to, I'm gonna go through like uh, a more in-depth of credit cards, okay? More in-depth of credit cards, okay, everybody. So I will need you to write it nicely, okay? Write it nicely, maybe on top of it, okay, on top of it. So I will just erase this part one more time and you write one more time. I, I, will, I will recommend you to write in a separate piece of paper so that you can stick it uh, anywhere, lah. you can stick it anywhere. Okay, now you have to be extra careful with this credit card. Lah. Um, quite, Quite popular among model paper. Okay, quite popular among model paper. Uh, and to me, la, to me, uh, after I go through so many model, model paper types, right? I noticed that most of it, most of it, you can you can say 90% of the question, right? The style on how they ask basically fix it. So we're gonna fix it. But remember, uh, in real life, it's not like this. There is so many different, different conditions that they will apply. Okay, in real life, it's not exactly like this. Huh? So there were so many different conditions. So I will slowly answer uh, whatever things that you want to ask me. Okay, so you just pop out something. Hey, I thought my parents say something like this. Huh? Uh, you let me know so I can explain to everybody. Okay, so everyone, now I want to write as for SPM related credit card calculation, right? Uh, as in SPM, it means PT3, huh? consumer mathematics. As for credit card, right? There is three very important steps in order for you to get the statement answer. Okay, the statement answer. Okay, now as for the statement answer, right? Number one, you need this thing called OOB. Okay, OOB. What is OOB? Outstanding balance. The moment when you use credit card, you swipe. The moment you swipe, right? Oh, you owe bank money already. You get what I mean? Credit cards, okay, credit cards. Okay, so as for this outstanding balance, I'll be writing short forms, huh? Outstanding balance, so it means the money that you owe to bank right? because you swipe the transaction already. Okay, as for this outstanding balance, right? Okay, let me ask everybody before I move to the second part, right? Now, logic, uh, you answer me. Uh, if you answer wrongly, it's fine. Uh. Okay, now, everyone. If let's say you swipe a certain transaction, let's say you're going to buy a handbag like what Lily, Lily did. You buy one handbag, you swipe using credit card. Okay? So can you tell me, can you tell me, are you supposed to pay? <laughs> you know this I'm asking a stupid question right you are supposed to pay la, right, right? but in in your academic point of view right in your academic point of view academic point of view means on uh, how SPM asks you are uh, now will the questioner will the question state that Lily pay everything okay on the next on the next statement do you say that or not if let's say in academic wise, uh, in your SPM, in your PT3 questions, uh, once Lily swipe that particular transaction, uh, okay, will Lily pay up the whole full amount? Think logically. Like in, in your in your in your syllabus wise, you know. The answer is, nah, you, you listen carefully, uh, the answer is if let's say a certain PT3 SPM question, right? The moment Lily made a transaction. Then the next, the next statement before that already paid up everything. Then what else they can ask you? You all get what I mean? We have to think logically on how they ask. We are trying to predict how they ask, you know. Okay? So, so in a particular SPM question, right? They won't say Lily pay everything. Right? So there is only two scenarios, you know. There's only two scenarios. It's either they say this. 
Lily paid minimum payment. Remember? Okay, they will say something at the time. Lily paid minimum payment. Or maybe they say Lily didn't pay anything. This is the two different case. Wait, y'all get what I mean? Or not? Uh, we have to think logically as in a as in a as in a SPM point of view on how they ask. Okay, I repeat, I repeat, Anna. See ya. Uh, one more time, one more time. Now let's say uh Shinji la Shinji. Shinji happily want to be uh what be pula. Okay, want to buy a new new what? Shinji, what you want to buy? You don't know, okay. Now I decide for you. Uh, uh Shinji want to buy um a new mouse. <laughs> okay, a new mouse. Okay. So Lily said, I I want to swipe using my credit card. Okay. So so Shinji said. Okay, I go and buy lah. So uh, Shinji go and then search for that uh that, that very nice mouse, okay, that worth 300 ringgit. Uh. So you're gonna use like credit card, type all the information to online payment, then after that paid up. Okay, so after Shinji pay uh paid up using credit card, Shinji O Bank, right? Not? Shinji O Bank. Okay, Shinji O Bank, uh, uh you, you follow me or you, you can't follow, you just let me know. Did you wait? I don't really get it. Now so so now, Shinji O Bank. Okay, in your PT3 point of view, or maybe SPM point of view, right? They won't say Shinji paid up the whole 300 amount. Then they ask you the next statement. Right? Because if let's say they mention Shinji paid up the whole amount, what is your final answer? Your final answer will be your next statement. Uh, it will be RM0. You all get what I mean? Ah, you, you, you understand already? So number one, they won't say paid up everything. Right? So there's only two scenario that they will ask you. First scenario, in academic wise, huh, in SPM PD3, huh, they will say this, Shinji paid minimum payment. Okay? Or the question will say, Shinji didn't pay a single cent. And what is the next statement balance? Ah, this is what they will ask you. Okay, now, kawan kawan sekalian. I want to see whether you still record this or not. If you can't record, it's fine. Right? Okay, because I'm here to tell you. Huh? Can you tell me how do you calculate minimum payment? Okay, take a guess. I'm pretty sure some of you forget the video. It's fine. Ah, okay, uh, I'm, I'm here to revise, right? Uh, so tell me how you calculate minimum payment. Not bad, very good. I remember I said something like this. Uh, we have this thing called the five five rules. Five five rules. Either five percent of the outstanding, or maybe RM fifteen ringgit. Uh, fifty ringgit. Okay, RM fifty lima plo. Okay, now so over here, right? I will just need everybody to put like minimum payment over here. Just put minimum payment, and you put that five five rule there. And five five rule indicates RM fifty, or maybe. Five ringgit on your outstanding balance, but wait, wait, wait. Most of the time, most of the time, right? Most of the time, right? They will provide you the minimum payment just like this. Okay, everyone, you don't flip on, huh? just want to show you. Uh, we, we are not using the, the book yet. Uh, you see, can you see this? I'll just show you. Uh. Get, uh, Gap made a credit card transaction of 1,400. She only made minimum repayment of 70. Can you see they give you already? Most of the time, they will give it to you one. Ah, you all get what I mean? Okay, now most of the time, they will give it to you one. Okay, nice. Okay, everybody. Okay, everybody. Now, 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 I will move it. Okay, go back to the to information on top. This is scenario number one, huh? scene number one. So I put that scene number one. Okay, now, or maybe scenario number two, I already said, huh? impossible in an academic-wise question, right? They ask you to pay out everything huh? because no point. No point, no other things to ask already. Okay, now, can you take a guess? Just like I mentioned already, on. scenario number two, what they will ask you? Mm, scenario number two, what they will ask you? It will say, Shinyi didn't pay a single cent. Ah, no payment made. No payment. And everyone, you, I, same thing, I'll see whether you still record this or not. Can you tell me if I say no payment made, what it means? I know no payment made means didn't pay. La. <laughs> but it will lead to, wow, you see you're smart. Last week we mentioned a bit already, right? Not? This thing, it will link to what? I put a star here. It will link to this thing called 
late payment, smart, are you Okay, smart. So it will come out with this last part called late payment. Thank you very much. Okay, late payment. Okay, now, so late payment wise, right? Just put it there first. We just don't care about it. Later, we'll talk about that. Okay, now, everyone, I repeat again, huh? understand why it's out outstanding or not. Outstanding means the amount that you owe bank. Okay, they will mention to you one. Okay, now, so over here, the second part, it will be FC. Everyone, uh, take a guess, what's FC? Based on what we mentioned last week, uh, because last week we left like 10 minutes plus on credit cards, right? right? Okay, I said, today, suppose we are going to network graph theory one, right? Later, I will guide you what to do. Okay, thank you. Finance charge, or maybe in other words, uh, interest. Finance charge, or maybe the interest. Uh, uh, the interest. Uh. Okay, now, everyone, quick one. Again, you take a guess. Can you tell me what's your finance charge percentage in credit card? Academic wise, academic wise, normally it will be 18%, one eight. Okay, 18, suffice. Okay, one eight percent annually, perfect. Okay, now, but again, it depends on the question. Most of the time, they will provide you 18%. 15% or maybe they will say 1.5 per month. Okay, so it depends on situation. But if let's say they didn't mention any single uh, interest, right? Always assume 18%. Okay, now, so we have these three very important info already. Right? And everyone, the most important thing, uh, make sure you have these three things in your calculation. Outstanding balance, finance charge, late payment. Okay, now, so you notice I purposely don't want to write all these, uh, all these things out, right? Okay, now, I want you to quickly type to me in the chats. I want to see, okay, whether you still recall what I mentioned that or not. Okay, tell me why it's OB. Tell me why it's FC. Tell me why it's late payment in your chats. Come. I'll wait for you. Don't worry. Uh, anyhow, I'm recording this whole thing up. Huh? So, so y'all can uh, get to benefit. Like you, you, can, you can watch it repeatedly. Okay. Okay, come. Go, go, go. Very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> So OB stands for outstanding balance. Thank you. And then your FC, okay, stands for finance charge. And finally, the last one, you have to be careful because a lot of students, they missed out. Huh? They thought it's late penalty. No, huh? it's late payment. Uh, I remember I mentioned the word penalty before because it looks like penalty. Yes, Jinghui, I will definitely put it in YouTube. Yes, uh, because revision is revision. Uh, revision, I will compile and don't worry. Uh, so that you all, you all can repeatedly watch it. Okay, Ken? Uh, no, no, I haven't yet. Uh, I just record, right? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll edit first. I'll, I'll put like all those info by the side, like how I made the ROI. Bung, bung, uh, like this. Okay, I'll put it nicely uh, so you can watch it. Okay, now, everybody, come, come, come. So I'll be using all this info, right? And then do it in a question. And now the next very important part comes in already, which is your finance charge calculation and your late payment calculation. Okay, so I'm going to put some info there. Okay, everyone, put here, put here a star. Make sure you always convert to daily rate. Uh, convert to daily rate. Why do I say that? Remember just now I mentioned 18%. Now, now, everyone, grab your calculator. Grab your calculator. I'm going to guide you. You type and tell me the figures, okay? Tell me the figures, huh? Okay, of course the 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 you don't have to you don't have to be too worried on the, the, the whole sentence or what. Just focus on the figures that we want to pluck out from the info. Okay, the figures that are uh, the, the numbers that we have to pluck out from the info. Huh? Okay, now now prepare calculators, huh? Okay, everyone, 18%. 18%. Okay, I put it by the side, huh? 18% represents 0.18. Everyone agrees on that, right? Okay, um, if of course, of course, this will be per annum. Yes, thank you. Okay, this will be per annum. Okay, my question here is, I want everybody to convert this eighteen percent into thirty days rate. Thirty days rate. Actually, just like how you do your compound, huh? Thirty days rate, huh? Tell me, what is your thirty days rate in decimal? Uh, 30 days wait in decimal. Wow, today win radio. 22, uh, 22,242. Yeah. 
Okay, so 30 days, uh, this is what we're going to do. Come, you will take 0 0.18 because that's per year, right? Per year, uh, you're going to divide by 365 so that you get one day. Ratios, right? Okay, you get one day. Once you get one day, I mentioned 30 days, right? right? Okay, we make it 30 days times 30. So what is your answer? 0 0.18 divided by 365 times 30. Ding! Your answer is 0 0.01. Four, seven, nine, blah, blah, blah. Basically means 0 0.015. Lah, okay. But do you have to write this figure in your answer? No need. Because eventually you have to times your outstanding also. Right? You want to get your finance charge, right? You have to times your outstanding also. Uh, so there's an outstanding balance also. Okay. OB, outstanding balance. Okay. Now, one more time, one more time. Okay. One more time. Huh? Okay. Tell me, uh, my rate is still 18%, of course. Okay. Still 18%. Okay. 18%. Um, I want to get, um, 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 how many days? 40, okay lah, 42 days lah. Okay, 42 days, what you gonna do? Same thing, you divide by 365 to get one day, right? Then you times with 42 days, uh, 42 days, then you will get your answer in decimal already. So it will be 0 0.18 divided by 365 and then times 42 days, then you get 0 0.0207, blah, blah, blah. Basically means 0 0.0 to 1. Understand this thing? Don't get it, let me know in the chats, huh? so I know. Okay, good, good. Um, actually, I'm quite, quite, quite happy with um, what you all replied me. Do you know why? The reason being, uh, uh, I remember last week I mentioned that. As you are in Form 3, right, you are not so okay with this adult world information, you know. But as you, as you get older, right, okay, you, you get more adult, uh, you tend to be able to understand more things. Of course, you know that, right? Uh, just like when you do your Form 4 and Form 5 things, right? And, and when I go back to this uh, Form 3 info, a lot of students actually say, oh, teacher actually like that only. Uh. Why last time I don't know one? I get a lot of this kind of uh, message uh, from everybody. Uh, OB... Uh, OB is actually the outstanding balance. Uh, they will give it to you, but we, we just ignore that first. Uh, we, we want the rate only. Uh, because I didn't give you a proper question yet. Right? Okay, now, everyone. Now I'm going to say like a very funny thing. Because sometimes uh, they just have nothing to do, you know. They put it this way. 1.5% per month. In uh, your, your finance charge, 1.5% 1. 1. per month. Everyone, what is 1.5% per month? If let's say I want to make it daily rate, <laughs> I want to make it daily rate. Now, you know what happened? You know what happened with? Okay, you see, uh, everyone, you take this uh, 1.5, you times 12, you see what happened? They have nothing to do, one. serious. You times 12, what you get? 18%. <laughs> so that's why I say sometimes they have nothing to do, uh, but, but you know what? Hey, this one actually affects the answer one, you know. You, we, we cannot simply do it. Because I tested for you already. Every single question I do in depth, then I test out like some possible uh, things that student might make. Uh, because I used to be weak, uh, I said. So I go and test out like the, 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 those kind of stupid kind of uh, workings. Uh. I, I just test out everything for everybody already. Uh. Okay, so if let's say you take a 1.5%, uh, you times with 12 to make it per annum. And then you take that 0 0.18 divided by 365, and then you times with the specific days, right? Your answer is way different as compared to if I take this 0 0.015 because 1.5% means 0 0.015, right? So if I say based on this 0 0.015, I want to be daily rate. Everyone agree or not, I have to divide by 30, right? Then student will say, teacher, how about some month, huh? 28 days, 29 days, or maybe 31 days somehow? Just like your per year, 365. Some of the year, every four years, you have 366, right? Not? So we standardize. You divide by 30. You check out your answer, see whether it's same or not. You check and see. Sure, different one. 0 0.015 divided by 30 times with 42. Do you notice your answer is 0 0.021? Right? Is that exactly 0 0.021? So there is a small difference there. On, uh, but the small difference, sometimes it will affect the answer, la, not most of the time. Okay, there's a small difference there. On. Understand? Okay, so follow whatever things that they give you. They say per month, then you divide 30. La. Uh, they say per year, then you divide 365. La. Okay, perfect.
Okay, okay, put okay, then I, I, I skip already. So this is what I mean by the daily rate. Uh, so we are trying to make it like daily rate. So we already understand a bit of it. Nice. Okay, good, good. Late payment wise, there is some rules ongoing here. Again, it's about whichever higher, whichever higher. Oh, everyone, I missed out, mixed out one very important thing under the five five rules. Uh. Five five rules, can you put a big arrow to the top? What it means? It means uh, because I say RM50 or maybe five five percent of the outstanding, right? Again, whichever higher. Do you know why why they select whichever higher? Anyone can explain to me. Oh, if you can explain, means uh, you, you, you are in the situation, you know. Why, why bank want to take whichever higher? Why? The logic very simple. Right? Uh, not to say earn money. Okay, not to say earn money. Okay, I get you a very simple logic. Lah. Okay, now see. Ah. Okay, everyone. Because, because anyhow, the money belongs to bank one. Ma. You, you, you have to repay to bank one. Uh, so they didn't earn, earn anything except for their interest. Huh? Right, uh. Okay, now, the whole thing very easy. Uh. The whole thing very easy. Uh. Now, let me ask you. Uh. Okay, let's say Natasha. Okay, Natasha. So I owe you 100 ringgit. Okay, I owe you 100 ringgit. But now, right, I get you two choice. Stupid. Owe you money, still want to give you choice. Huh? Okay, slap myself. Okay, now. So I get two choice. You know? I have, I owe you 100. Huh? I got 50 ringgit uh, with me and RM 2 ringgit with me. Can you tell me which one you will take? So basically, I'm owing you, you know. I'm owing you all. Why you take 50? Of course, uh, of course you take 50 because that's your money. Cry not. So same applies to bank's point of view. Hey, my money, of course, I take more. Lah, okay, why am I owing you so long? Cry not. If let's say I owe you further, right? I can't get back my, get back my money. Uh, it becomes like what? It becomes like that already, right? Uh, so cannot. So they will, take, they, they will try to take, take the money back. Okay, they'll try to take money back. So that's the point. Huh? Okay, so back to late payment. Same concept applies. RM 10 ringgit or 1% of, okay, of your, of your outstanding, outstanding balance, including finance charge. This is the most important part where textbook missed out. Outstanding balance, including finance charge. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this one. Okay, now, everyone. This is what I name it, uh, name it as the one one rule. The above one is five five rules, right? This is not one one rule. Okay. So RM10 one one percent. So whichever higher again. Uh, okay, whichever higher again. But depends on question because some question they have nothing to do. They they try to cut out you one, you know. So like one of the questions over here, I get it from other paper. You see, you see what they mentioned? Wait, uh, let me flip to that question and show you. Today we will do all, all the credit cards. Now, uh, see, they catch out you once, you know, and... Now, you see, they say, oh, the, 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 nah, late payment 1% or at least 20, you see, they catch out you. So that, okay? So everybody, we will start off the question with question C, okay? This is page what? July notes, notes, July notes, page Six, uh, page six, question C, credit cards. Okay, in case some of you stuck there, uh, I get you a confirmed answer. Uh, because the, the, the answer behind there is a there is a difference of two cents, if I'm not mistaken. I tried the question, everything really. Okay, before I send it to you all. Okay, come, question C. Okay, question C, we read the question together. Okay, if let's say you can work out faster, go ahead. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. Now, so you flip to that page already, you put okay, uh, then I can start. Nice. Credit card, uh, like uh, credit card. Four marks, you know. Okay, four marks, sometimes three, uh, depends. Okay, like, 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 continue. Hey. Everyone, you just repeat over me in the, in the, in the, uh, in front of your screen. You don't have to type it out. Okay, uh, you don't have to open your mind and tell me also. Right? Uh, so repeat over me. Uh. Now, the moment you see credit cards, there will be three steps. What are the three steps? Outstanding balance. Finance charge, late payment, okay? In what case, late payment comes out when a particular person didn't pay a single cent, okay? Then late payment will comes out. Okay, let's see what happened on this situation. J, made an online purchase from an overseas website for a shirt that costs USD 60. Gila on one shirt, USD 60, what the hell? Okay, via credit card transaction in January, 
the currency exchange rate was 1 USD equals to 4 ringgit 23. So obviously, uh, this transaction, I repeat, uh, this transaction, it's uh, USD 60 times with RM 4.23 because 1 USD 4.23, uh, 60 USD you times 4.23, then you get 60 times of it. Uh. So, whoa, 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 whoa. so 4.23 times with 60 RM 253.8. Nice. Okay, 253.8. This is the transaction weight. Everyone, you all understand what's the meaning of transaction or not? Transaction means the bill. Okay, the bill. Uh, so let's say you go to a restaurant. Uh, and you cannot say exactly old bank. Lah. You would say, uh, let's say you go, you go like uh okay, let's say you go a restaurant, a restaurant, and you 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 makan there, lah, you makan there. So after you makan ready, you you paid up the bill, right? Uh so that bill is the transaction uh, that you made. Okay, the transaction that you made, lah, okay. Or maybe let's say you go giant, you buy all your groceries and stuff, okay, then you come back. Uh, so the bill that you're holding, that's the transaction. Okay, so how many transactions you made? One in restaurant, one in giant, you have two transactions. Okay, can uh, but of course, if let's say the two transaction you spend it, you 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 paid it using credit card, and the total bill becomes your outstanding balance ready. No? Okay, can uh, so roughly the same thing. Uh, transaction transaction means the, the, the bill. Uh. Okay, then it says uh, given that the finance charge, oh the finance charge 18%, okay, standard per annum with with highlight this. This is what this is what happened to some of the credit card question. They suddenly pop out some additional things. And then students just stand there. Oh, teacher, wait, how? Ah, uh, this is what happened. Okay, now everyone, additional charge on finance uh, for foreign exchange of 1%. Now, in case students want to ask, teacher, what is this? What suddenly got this foreign exchange one? Is this important? Uh, wait, not really important. I just gotta tell you something like this. Okay, now. Story time. Now, I'm not sure whether you've seen something like this before. Maybe you 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 go go somewhere else. You do some uh, what's it called transaction? Uh, you 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 follow your parents. Okay, go and buy stuff, and then sometimes your parents use credit card swipe. Right? I don't know whether you come across to this kind of conversation or not. They will say, "Hey, eh, if you are using cash, I won't charge you additional two percent. If you use credit card, I charge you uh one percent." Something like this. Do you all come across to this kind of conversation before? Maybe some of your parents uh use credit card. They will say, hey, if you didn't, if you didn't spend over how 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 much, how much, right? Then I have to charge you one percent or maybe two percent. You understand what I mean? Uh and you, you all come across to this thing before? You don't know you, you didn't come across to this, you just uh put cross. Uh, I want to see whether you all come across to this kind of conversation before. Okay, never mind. Okay, I tell you, uh, uh, now not really. Okay, because now it's like quite common already, credit cards. When credit card is not so common, right? When credit card is not, not so common, right? If I'm not mistaken, uh, that machine itself, right? That machine itself, uh, in order to ease customer to spend. Okay, because some customers, they, they rely on credit cards. They, want to, they don't want to take cash out, right? But that machine itself, uh, they will charge money on, you know? You, you know that machine where they put the, the debit card, credit cards on? Uh, because that, there's a rental, rental amount. On. So that renter, some of the some of the merchant, right? They try to uh, pass the pass the what's it called? The cost to 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 what? Uh to, to the customer. Because the amount quite big, one, you know. Uh so so it's like not that worth it. But this this is because we are the, that particular machine, right? We are trying to what? Trying to ease the payment of customer. But anyhow, uh, merchant they, 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 they prefer what? They prefer cash on, you know. Do you know why? Uh, because number one, that machine itself, it costs money. Okay, rental. And after that, you uh, every transaction, if I'm not mistaken, they will charge a certain percentage, a uh, certain percentage, right? Because we, we are, uh, I mean, I mean as in bank help you on, on dealing the transaction, everything, right? Now, so that's the reason uh, sometimes uh, on your credit card bill, right? They will say something like, oh, there's an additional charge, something like this. Okay, but that's one of the examples. There's so many different kind of examples that happens then. Okay, now back to this. But this thing, it's about A, you buy uh, some foreign uh, foreign products, 
Uh, so these credit cards say, oh, you buy foreign products, sorry, uh, there is some currency going on. So I have to charge you additional 1%. Uh, so this is like on their situation, uh, some bank they didn't charge, some bank they charge. And, okay, so now under finance charge, I will come up with two columns like this. Okay, see, one, oops. Okay, back to, back to this. One, two, <clears throat> and three. Outstanding balance, finance charge, I have two parts. And after that, I have my late payment. Okay, now, then they say late payment charge is 1% or at least RM20. So I put RM20 or later I will do the calculation with 1%. Lah. Okay, 1%. Don't forget to include your finance charge. Lah. And then it says um, this very important word on the outstanding balance. Now, this is, this is the part where it's kind of de deceiving. In your textbook, it's not outstanding balance only, you know. It's outstanding, uh, outstanding, blah. outstanding plus finance charge. Uh, be careful. Uh. Okay, some past finance charge. Uh. And the statement date was 15 days. Okay, now everybody, this sentence over here, can you can you just bracket it? Can you see the word? The statement date was 15, 15 days from the due date of interest fee period. Now, I don't want everybody to get too, too into the situation of these 15 days, la, what day. La. Okay, now, okay, basically, right? In a, in a keywords point of view on how to handle this thing, right? I will say one word only. This, this part over here, right? They are trying to say, okay? Just very uh, just one very simple phrase there. Huh? They are trying to say that, oh, you owe 15 days. Okay, that's all. You owe 15 days. So I'm going to charge you 15 days. That's all. Okay? So you interpret that way. Okay, huh? interpret that way. Huh? So everyone, now why not you quickly type to me? Lah, if let's say 18%, percent ah what you will do to make it 15 days? Uh, 0 0.18 divide by 365 and then times with 15 days. Okay, 15 days. Huh? Now, so let's go see what they mentioned. Now, the most important word comes in already. If J did not make any payment, J didn't make any payment. They made any payment. What happened? Why not? LP comes out, late payment. So this one should come out already. Tick. Ah, uh, tick. So now calculate the outstanding balance in January. Or maybe in other words, uh, instead of saying outstanding balance in January, they'll say calculate the current payment in February statement. Okay, so that's the two different words. Uh. Okay, outstanding RM253.380. Uh, no payment made, so don't have to minus. Straight away, take this whole thing down and put there. RM253.80. This is the finance charge. Huh? Later, we will do one foreign exchange rate. The FE means foreign exchange, the additional charge. Huh? Okay, now, now wait, wait. So 253.80 times weight, times weight, uh, what's that? 0 0.18 over 365. Times with how many days? 15 days. Come quick, get me the answer. 253.80 eh, times 0 0.18 over 365 times 15 days. This is RM, uh, two decimal point out, one, RM 1.88. Uh, Ting Li, Ting Li, Ting Li. Didn't make any payment. Two things, oh. the balance, gonna interest, oh. and then didn't make any payment. The extra penalty late payment comes out. Oh. Uh. They will charge you money. That's the two additional things they charge you. Oh. Oh. You get what I mean? Uh, this is the part they, where, where, they, where they charge you extra. Because Jay didn't make any payment. Ma. Late payment. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I continue with the, uh, the, the calculation first. Okay, now, so this thing, right, you're going to get your RM 253.80 times with 0 0.01. Everyone, 1%, 1%, right? Not 1%, uh, so I go up. Uh, 1%, uh, by the way, the 1%, no, no per annum or one. Uh, it's like one, one shot, one, uh, one shot, 1% one uh, charge everything. Uh, okay, it's on the bill. Okay, it's on the bill. Uh, no, 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 like per month, per, per year. And uh, 253. 
2.54. Okay, I'm 2.54. Okay, everyone, there's one thing I want to ask you, like, like a bit of common sense on it. Okay, now everybody, take a guess, lah. Take a guess, ah. Ah, that's the additional charge, you're right? Okay, additional one. Take a guess, ah. Do you have to calculate this part anymore? Do you have to calculate that? Okay, let me ask you lah. Common sense, ah. We 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 talk. We we mentioned in the common sense point of view, lah. We just take a, a small figure. Can you see all these given figure over here is like so small, only one? Even if you add up everything, uh, do you notice it's like roughly 260 only? Roughly 260 only? Roughly only, right? Not roughly 260. You tell me what is the percentage, or uh, what, what is 1% of 260? You don't have to calculate, just tell me logically. Can you see it's only two ringgit plus? As you compare RM20 and two ringgit plus, can you tell me, do you have to calculate that? You get it? That's why you just ignore it. So focus on what you want. You want this, you want this, this, and this. So you can add up. So therefore, your outstanding balance in January, RM253.80 plus RM1.88 plus RM2.54 plus RM20. So you add up everything. Nice. You get the answer already. 253.80 plus 1.88 plus 2.54 plus 20. Ding. Your RM is 278.22. If I'm not mistaken, the answer behind is 24. Okay, follow my answer. Okay, follow my answer. Uh, you check it out. I, I, I'm pretty sure the, 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 the answer behind is like additional 2 cents. Uh, so this is the correct answer. Ah, uh, yes, Natasha. Yes. Okay, yes. Uh, Every finance charge related info just hunt them inside. Ah. Okay, it's like the total, total, then only they will charge the 1% there. Okay, it's like lastly, only you calculate that. Okay, now everybody go to the next one. Now go to the next one. Huh? Uh, because you, you know why I do credit card one more time? Because last week when I do this one part there, right? A few students, they send it to me and say, teacher, uh, I don't really get it. So I do a few more. Okay, so... Once I do a few more, like what I mentioned, you all repeatedly watch the video so you all can refresh, refresh, refresh. So when you see this consumer mathematics, right? You are like, oh, okay, I'm quite confident. Okay, so everybody move down. Okay, move down to the next credit card question. Where is it? The next credit card question is about gap. Gap, where's gap, gap, gap? Is question seven, uh, page 10, question seven. Ah, this one, you see all the information there already, right, right? Boom. Here, B. Now this question, I will do some, some changes to it, some little changes. Huh? Now credit cards again, huh? obviously, right? Okay, the reason being, you look at the last, last thing there, late payment, you know what happened already, show credit card. Huh? So GAP made a credit card transaction of 1400. So number one, outstanding balance, 1400. Number two, finance charge. Number three, you have your late payment there. And let's check it out. It says she only made me, Wow, everyone, minimum payment. What is minimum payment percentage again? What is that? Five, five rules, five, five rules, cry not. Five, five rules, either 5% or RM50. Wait, wait, do you have to purposely go and check? No need, huh? okay? Whatever, whatever figures that they give you, just follow. That's why I say normally they give it to you. One. Ah, okay, normally they give it to you. One, huh? Okay, so you just minus 70. So now your new outstanding, how much? Because you paid up, right? You are, you're trying to calculate the next month uh, statement, you know? So your, your new amount is 1330. Okay, good. Hey, wait. Minimum payment, what's so special about it? Besides reducing your outstanding balance, what happened? What happened? You just cut away your late payment really. Ah, cut it. You don't have to take that already. So that's why uh, when you look at this statement here, uh, look at this part over here, this whole thing, all <laughs> right? You can ignore already. That's why they put it there. It's like a standard way of asking in academic wise, right? They'll put it there. Okay, but you don't need it. Okay, now let's see. Then she received, uh, I mean, uh, after you received the, 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 the January, then after that, you pay the, pay the uh, thing lah. 
given the finance charge is 1.5% per month. Whoa, whoa, wait. 1.5% per month. Whoa. You know already, 0.015 divided by 30 times with a certain days. Wait. This question, I say I will add something for you, all right? Okay, come. Can you add something for me? I repeat, uh, given, that, given that the finance charge is 1.5% per month on transaction, I repeat, uh, on transaction, I repeat, uh, on transaction for 15 days. Okay, everyone, can you put an put a extra column there? This is the limitation of the question I want you to add for me because normally they will say, uh, Okay, I, I believe I, I missed out that uh, when Gaby type it, he missed out this very important word. Can you type it for me? I'll not type it, add it for me. Huh? And on outstanding balance, outstanding balance, outstanding balance for 20 days. Okay, for 20 days. This one okay, not? Uh, this one I missed out. Very important word. Uh, do you notice in the BM version, they mentioned that? You see, you see this in, uh, BM version. Uh, it says 1.5% sebulan atas transaksi itu. Enam belas hari. Dan dua puluh hari atas baki tetungga. It means, tetungga means the balance that you, you still owe. Lah. Okay. Okay, Ken? So on the outstanding balance, this is the part where it missed out. Uh, so when I type, I type, uh, missed out that already. Okay. So everybody, everybody, now, now. The whole thing comes in already. Then student will say, teacher, why this question charge finance two times on? Normally, two, normally one time only, right? Okay, yes, the standard question, like what we did last week, the Lily question, and this is the normal question. The two questions that we did just now, I increased the level already. They nothing to do, they come up foreign, foreign rate, foreign exchange rate, right? 1%. Then suddenly this one, they, they charge two times, cry not. Like what I mentioned, different credit card, maybe they have different benefits. Okay, I just give you some ideas on it. Okay, you, you think about this. Uh, agree or not, I'm not sure about whether your parents got a few, few credit cards. Uh. For me, I have two credit cards. One CMB bank and one UOB. My CMB bank and UOB, right? I love my UOB bank credit card so much. And do you know why? Because every grocery that I buy, right? It will be a deduction of 1% on the total bill. Hey, okay, 1% on total bill for grocery. Uh. As long as grocery, they detect, uh, they, will, they will minus 1%. Okay, ma. Then after that, another one will be, uh, if I'm not mistaken, petrol allowance. Uh, so as, as I swipe my, um, I mean, as in, I go Petrona Shell, I go and uh, pump my petrol, right? So I pump petrol, everything, right? There will be a, a how many percent? Uh, forget already. I think one or 2% of reduction. Right? So one or 2% reduction, they cap at 10 ringgit. Okay, ma. So every month, if I say I exit that amount, uh, as you know, 10, 10 ringgit deduction, okay. But my CMB bank, uh, basically just credit card. <laughs> Nothing much. Huh? So you'll be, I like it so much. So, so different credit cards, they have different benefits. But, but, per year, right, they will charge you extra. Uh, but it depends on whether you got spend or not. Lah. If let's say your credit card, you spend more, huh? then maybe they waive your per year, per year, uh, what's it called? Uh, your debit card, you have to pay like per year, you have to pay 12 ringgit or 8 ringgit, I forget already. So credit card, same thing, uh, they will pay like 100 ringgit or maybe how, how many ringgits. Okay, so same applies to every different credit card. Finance charge, they have different way of charging. Uh. Okay, so maybe for this case, this credit card, uh, they charge two times as in for the rate. Uh, so it depends. Uh. Okay, so follow whatever things that they give you. Now, so this case, uh, now everyone, finance charge two times. Ayish. So two times, I put one and two, okay? One and two. Uh. Now, everyone, you tell me, uh, the 16 days, uh, 16 days one uh, is on transaction. What is the amount that I have to take to do my calculation? I know I have to times 0 0.015 divide by 30, then times with 16 days already. Uh, and I know my the other one I have to take 0 0.015 divide by 30 times 20 days. I know that and you know that as well. You know that. But the problem is, the first question they say on transaction. I want more students to tell me. So far, student that sent to me correct. So what is that amount that I have to place inside there? Ah. Boy, you see you're smart. Look at the question, so you know already, right? Okay, anyone don't know, put cross. 
I even don't know put cross. I, I get you. Oh, you don't have all? Okay, now. See you all? Okay, now, yeah? No, 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 no. See. On transaction. Transaction is the bill, ma. Thank you, Barwatch. Okay. The bill, ma. Hey, the bill, how much? Uh? Uh, tell me the bill, how much? Gap made a credit card transaction. 1,400. I don't know what she buy, la, but there's a transaction there. 1,400. That's the one. Put 1,400. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Then number two. The 20 days one, uh, I already say you have to add additional word there because I missed out that word there, right? On outstanding balance. Okay? Outstanding balance. What is your outstanding balance again? Can you see your outstanding balance? Uh, come, come. Outstanding balance. Yes. Yes. Outstanding balance. One, three, three, zero. Get the answer, add up everything. I want the final answer for, for, uh, for, for me. So they want current amount in the next month statement. Or maybe they will say like what, what I mentioned last week. Uh, I mean, it's in last question. Then. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, 1400 times 0 0.015 divide 30 times 16. 11.2. 1, 1330 times 0 0.015 divide by 30 times 20. Answer is 13.3. So therefore, add up everything. Late payment, no need already. Lah. You notice I didn't put any RM, RM related info there, one, right? At the end only, I will put it there. So RM, 1354.50. Answer. Okay, wait. Don't go for that. Okay. Credit card officially wrap up. Okay, wrap up. Okay, everyone. Now, I'm gonna ask you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ask you. Uh, um, before before I uh, uh, reply uh, some some students question there. So everybody, uh, is credit card better now? I mean, as in you understand better. I'm not sure uh, whether the the overall confidence boom up or not. Uh, if yes, you let me know. Uh, because if not then maybe I have to do something else in my, in my video and add something for you. Okay, so if yes, you let me know. Okay, now I'm going to answer a few, few students' uh, questions. Uh, uh, Tingli, Tingli, come, come, Tingli. Okay, let me answer your questions first. Uh, Tingli. Okay, uh, these two figures, you, you okay, not? These two figures, you okay, not? Uh, come, I show you. Uh. Nah. Wait, before that, let me ask you. You understand what's the meaning of transaction or not? Dealing. Nice. <laughs> That's why I say uh, when you reach Form 5, uh, your understanding towards everything is like so, so, so great really, you know. That's why I just have to boom a bit more, tell you a bit more adult information, then you're like, oh, okay. Ah. Uh, Ah, no, Barawaj, go back to 30. Go back to 30. Okay, now, Tingli, come back. Huh? So, the, 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 the transaction, right? Can you see they already mentioned gap credit card transaction 1,400? Uh, so, they will say, uh, the 1.5% per month uh, charge on which amount? They say on transaction, uh, I take 1,400. Uh, uh, then the other one, they say the 1.5%, 20 days, uh, they say on outstanding. Then I go my outstanding 1330. Uh, so it depends on the information that they want. Uh, they will mention it. That's why I just follow them. Mm, they won't simply say, you get to memorize something. No. Uh, they will say for you. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, correct. Thing because outstanding, uh, you already pay 70. Ma. That's why you still owe the bank 1330. That's why you take 1330. Ah. Right, okay, now, uh, uh, meanwhile, I answer Kajun for a while. Uh. Okay, Kajun, for this question, if no pay minimum payment, need the payment plus 16 days. Yes, Kajun, you are right. Now, everyone, this is what uh, Kajun mentioned. Uh. Kajun mentioned, uh, teacher, if let's say this question, uh, no minimum payment made, so your outstanding will be 1400, right? right? So it means, uh, if let's say this one doesn't happen, right? This thing and this thing will be 1400, 1400 already, right? 
And simultaneously, this thing comes up. If this thing comes out, right, it will be RM10 or maybe 1%. And the one percent you have to take one four four zero a one four zero zero plus the two finance charge inside. Ah, you get what I mean. So Kajun, thank you, thank you. Uh, I didn't thought of that. Very good, very good. Okay, so everyone, you understand uh, what what Kajun questions is. Uh, so remember, you have to add all your finance charge information into your late payment calculation for the 1%. Uh, okay, so everyone, um, uh, I'm going to officially wrap up the, the, the whole thing. Okay, and there is a few more share related questions, just a few more on here. So I see whether later the night class, we are able to do it or not. If let's say able to do it, I will add it into the video. If not able to do it, then you'll do it yourself. <laughs> Quite easy on that one. Uh, so, but remember to really sit down and do it okay i'm i'm like pretty sure lah, pretty sure your level now is like high enough to understand all your form 3 info and so don't tell tell yourself that oh i've been very weak in my in my pt3 uh. okay no you, you see you all can understand so many things right good thing okay um so um Thank you, thank you. So as for the rest, you can leave really on. And remember uh, to, to watch the network graph theory before next class. Okay, I put it in your what really on. Okay, so bye. And for those that uh, you have any question you want to ask me, you can stay and ask me for a while before, before you go. Okay, um, back to Ting Li. Um, oh, Ting Li, come, let me show you. Do you notice the 1.5% there? 1.5% equivalent to 0 0.015, this one you know lah. Now, the reason why I divide by 30, why? Uh, uh, for, for the rest, you, you, you can go for your next class already, Anna. okay? Why? Uh, so why I divide by 30? Because if I divide by 30, right? Then I will get one day rate. Lo. I want 16 days, lo. then I times 60. Uh, 16. Lo. Hmm. So the divide, 30 uh, is to make it one day. Uh, is to make it one day. Mm. You got it. Okay, meanwhile, answer Barawatch. Uh. Okay, Barawatch, uh, you are trying to say as in the calculation or when it when it happens, uh, when the late payment happens or how to calculate. Ah, yes, Ting Li, you're right. Or oh, how to calculate, okay, come, Barawatch. Okay, let me ask you, uh, I test you a bit. Uh. Can you tell me in what case uh, late payment will come up? Uh, this one you tell me first. Yiling also. Uh, in what case late payment will come up? When? Yes, you're right. You see, when no payment made at all. Zero, zero, no payment. Okay, no, no minimum payment paid, made. Uh. No minimum payment made. Then suddenly this late payment comes out. Okay. When late payment comes out, you have to be careful. You first you have to do what you have to you have to write this. You have to write RM10. Okay. Based on what we mentioned, because as you can see, they were they were mentioned, okay, it will be minimum 10 or 1% of the outstanding. Uh, so you put RM10 and then you will take this amount. Outstanding, you see that? Outstanding amount. But the funny thing is, the funny thing is what you know. The funny thing is textbook, uh, they they put the word. Outstanding, you know, they put outstanding, uh, but they include the finance charge. Ah, so we have to always add the finance charge answer into it. Then only we times with 1%. Then once we get the answer right, then we have to compare. Hey, which one higher? Just like what I mentioned, uh, bank always take the highest amount. Uh, so I take 11.88. Ah, so we have to compare which one higher. Okay. Wait, you, you get what I mean? I uh, don't get. Just let me know. Don't worry, because I don't have my next class, <laughs> so I can I can borrow up uh, further. Oh, got it. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. So, anyone else like you want to ask me any questions? Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.